Hello, my name is Connor Davey and I come from Watford, just outside North West London. And quick fun fact about me, aside from acting, uh, my main passion is music. I have sang for a number of years, uh, I've also played the guitar since I was probably around seven. Uh, and over lockdown one, I taught myself how to play the piano and the keyboard. I would like to join National Youth Theatre because as far back as I can remember, it has been my ambition to be an actor. Um, also, a good friend of mine uh, participated uh, last year, uh, last summer, and he said, told me what an incredible experience it was. Um, furthermore, I am currently studying theatre and performance at the University of Warwick, and it is my plan to go on, hopefully go on to drama school after that. So, uh, yeah, having done National Youth Theatre, I think that will really help my applications. The speech I'll be performing is Porrick's monologue from the play The Lieutenant of Inish Moor by Martin McDonagh. Hello? Da, you bastard! How are you? Oh, I'm grand indeed, da, grand indeed. How's all at Inish Moor? Good oh, good oh. Uh, I'm at work at the moment now, da. Was it important now? Oh, I'm torturing one of them fellas pushes drugs on wee kids, but... I can't say too much over the phone, like. <laughs> they are terrible men. And it's like they don't even know they are, when they know full well. They think they're doing the world a favour now, but they're not. Oh, I haven't been up to much else lately. I put bombs in a couple of chip shops, but they didn't go off. Because chip shops aren't as well guarded as army barracks. Do I need your advice on planting bombs now? I tell you, I've been getting pissed off with the whole thing anyways. I've been thinking of forming a splinter group. <laughs> I know we're already a splinter group, but there's no law says you can't splinter from a splinter group. A splinter group's the best kind of group to splinter from. But, uh, there's someone in the room, da. <laughs> I can't be talking to you about splinter groups now. <laughs> what was you calling about anyways? Eh? Hey. Hey, cat. What about we, Thomas? Poorly? How poorly? Have you brought him to the doctor? How long has he been off his food and, and why didn't you call me when it first started? Oh, he's not too bad now. Either he's not too bad or he's feckin' poorly. There is a major difference between not too bad and feckin' poorly. He cannot be the two of feckin' one, sure. Oh, and you wouldn't be calling me at all if he wasn't too bad now. What have you done to we, Thomas, you feckin' bastard, you... Put we, Thomas, on the phone. He's sleeping. Well, put a blanket on him, and be stroking him, and stroking him, and get a second opinion from the doctor, and I'll be home the first feckin' boat in the feckin' morning, you bastard, you... So, um, a time where I've had a positive impact on someone else, this is uh, quite one of my favourite stories. Um, so I work uh, in a primary school back home, I work in a, it's a breakfast club, an after school club and a holiday club. Um, I've worked there for pushing three years now. Um, and about a year, year and a half ago, there was um, a year six uh, child who uh, he's had some problems uh, at home and he was sort of getting into trouble uh, fairly regularly and it was just one afternoon after school. Um, I was sort of messing around, just playing on the piano a bit, and uh, I was playing the song Faded, um, which is a TikTok song, and then he came over, watched, and copied it exactly, having never had, never touched a piano before, never had a lesson, so then um, I proceeded to teach him as much as I knew, having only taught myself over the next sort of six months. Um, and yeah, I'm told by teachers that he's uh, really taken up music, and he's that's what he his main passion is in secondary school so yeah that's that makes me feel uh, really good whenever I think about it